2017 Mazda CX-5 Max Sport in Sol Red Crystal. Car's just arrived. Starting off at the front, you do get your slimline LEDs, speckled grille with the large Mazda badging, fog lights, alloy wheels, colour coded door handles and mirrors. Coming across to the back. Do get the reverse sensors. This is a 2.2 turbo diesel. It's all wheel drive. Coming into the boot, you do have a reverse camera located just there. Large boot space. Got a 12 volt socket just in there. Cargo blind. You do have these handle, um, these handy handles to lay the back seats back like so. You just pull the lever and the seat drops down. Spare just under here. It's got the tow bar. There's the plug for it. It's just underneath the car. Coming around to the side passenger side car in good condition You've got the five star and cap safety you do get blind spot in the mirrors stunning car really good on fuel very reliable I'll take you inside and show you some of the features Starting off at the back, door cards in excellent condition. You do get your power windows, back seats still like new. In the centre console here, you do have a USB port to charge phones, etc. Cup holders. You do get air vents to the back also. Stepping into the driver's side, on the door, you do get the power windows and mirrors. Door card's in excellent condition again. Seating like new. Good, good lumbar support as well in these seats. Got the full five star safety. Stepping inside the car. Do get the options to turn the eye stop off, the traction control off just there. Coming across, it is a push button start. It's just a simply foot on the brake. The stop start button lights up, push once. Nice quiet start up. Come into the dash. 97,900Ks We've just done a service on it. It's not due for another 9,000Ks Coming to the steering wheel cluster Located behind on the left hand side you do get your rain sensing wipers You can just turn them onto auto and they'll come on accordingly when it starts to rain you do get the Bluetooth functions as well for your phone, your volume controls, and to scan the radio. On the right hand side, auto headlights, so they'll switch on and off accordingly as well. You do get cruise control on the right hand side also. Coming across to the center screen, this is the entertainment system, your reverse camera, sat nav, it's all in there. Just pop in the car in reverse. You do get the handy guidelines with the red line being your final line to stop. It is a touch screen when you're parked. 
communication. That's just options to hook up the Bluetooth. Very user friendly this one. Navigation being your sat nav. Just showing you where we are currently. Got options to navigate, new destination. You can control it from this dial here. Just confirm, find address, confirm. And then you can punch in the address and, yeah, and the car will take you there. Entertainment is your music. Currently on the Fox. Options to change the station, station list, and change to your favorite station. On the dash, the center console, you do get air vents throughout, to keeping the car nice and hot or cool. Your hazard lights just here. Scrolling down, you do we, you do get dual zone climate control. The options to change the temperature on either side. Passenger being on 21 at the moment, and the driver's side being on 23.5. And your options for your fan speeds, rear demister, your your demister for the windscreen. Aircon. We do get a 12 volt socket just there. This is an automatic. You've got the option to drive the car in manual as well. Keeping it to the left is just automatic. If you want to drive the car in manual, just flick it to the right. You do have a plus and a minus just here to change the gears yourself, like so. Or if you just prefer to keep it in drive, just stay, stick to the left. You do have a handbrake just here. It's just simply foot on the brake, then park, and lift up with your finger. This lights up, indicating that your pipe brake is on. And to take off, it's just simply push down. Volume control just here. If you want to mute the music, it's just a simple push of the button. Do have handy cup holders here for coffees. Coming into the center, center console, you do get 12 volt socket, two USB ports, and an SD card slot for your maps. Plenty of storage space in there also. A beautiful car throughout. Uh, they don't last long from our dealership, these cars. If you like any more information on this car, please give us a call. My name's Darren. Thanks for watching.